TV coming to you from San Tropez. So we are right here on the waterfront. There's some fish down there. I don't know if you guys can see them with this camera. About a foot long. Look like some sea bass or something. Maybe sea catfish. So San Tropez here. On the town, but the main area, Pamplion, it's the whole peninsula is the big ticket out here in San Tropez. What we're looking at over here is the Gulf of San Tropez. From what I understand, is there is a ferry boat, which it looks like is right over there. I'm going to try and do that and take that back to San Rafael. I took an Uber over here. It took about an hour, which I would say to go 13 miles is entirely too long. But there's nothing you can do about it because the road is windy. And some of you might need some Dramamine because <laughs> the road is very windy. So I'm going to try and take the ferry back if I can. Another one of these magical walks under the wisteria. So look at this little alleyway here. <laughs> they have several alleyways. It smells like flowers, like these wisteria, I think they are. Very nice. And where I'm gonna go right now is towards the actual waterfront. Okay back on the waterfront here lots of paintings art looks like everyone's just admiring the big boats especially that big boat right there that's worth marveling at wow I can see why people come here to look at the boats. These are some serious, serious boats. But yeah, coming in, man. I would say you need a little bit of drama, I mean, for that. If you uh, have an issue with windy roads. I think they call the other side Nikki Beach. San Tropez, Nikki Beach. They say it sounds like they're like, come back in the summer. <laughs> so maybe the best time to come here is the summer. Although look how many people there are. There's a lot of people. I'm surprised they're not opening the activities up for tours. I guess they're seasonal. These boats. Look at these. Huh? Man. Madeira. That's uh, out in the Atlantic. Yeah, so as far as the. Uh, ferry goes. She does not seem confident that they have a ferry going this time of year. So that's more of a summer thing get back to St. Raphael. Okay. Get ready to get wet if you're going to go over here. Wow. Very nice, very nice. So you know man versus nature. Well, this is one of those situations. As long as I don't get a rogue wave, I should be good. But let's see how we fair. There was a couple big waves that already came. I think that one's a little bit strong right here. Yeah. And there was a big one that came just about a moment ago. Eh, nothing too big right now. This is doable. I got lucky. 
We got real lucky. Man, man versus wild. Those sardines in there, huh? Man's appetite to conquer nature. Building right here. <laughs> it's really doing good holding up against the uh, the Mediterranean, the Gulf of San Tropez. So it looks like there's some sort of tour or something going up there. The man versus nature adventure in San Tropez continues. Don't worry, at some point in time, I'm going to go up into the village, show you the old town. If you guys are enjoying this tour so far, be sure to hit the like button as we continue to show you guys around. San Tropez. through the Old Town Quarter. Which way should we go? Oh wow. San Tropez and let them give you the, the smell. Very nice. 
happened before cars. When towns and villages and cities were made for walking. Let's see here, there's a nice I'm going that way. like we got the city center here, the central park. It's called Place Cornat Beach des Lices. Okay. Okay, what do you got going on here? Bonjour! Okay. Definitely reminds me of the Greek island villages, but also Cinque Terre, which would make sense since it's so close. Should we go? So there are people wearing scarves and jackets, even in this temperature. And it is not cold. <laughs> it's not even cold at all. Like that guy's taking off his jacket. I don't know why I'm seeing people wearing scarves and all bundled up. Like we're in uh, Germany or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm in shorts. I'm kind of sweating a little bit. Which is good for me. I've been in pants for two weeks now. I've been chasing the warm weather. <laughs> <laughs> 